welcome to Short Story Scene. I'm your host, the storyteller, and here we have a tale called Boots by Banjo Patterson. We've traveled per Joe Gardner of Humping or a Swag, in the country on the Gidji or the Bilor, in the Swung of Dimantini with the regime in the bag, and we've traveled per a superior motor car. But when we went to Germany, we hadn't any chance, choice. No matter what our training or purpose, we have give us no selection twixt the Ford or Rolls de Royce. So we did our, our good Australian boots. We called us mad Australians. They couldn't understand how officers and men could for knees and said that we were reckless and we were wild and out of hand with nothing great or sacred to our eyes and no one thing could gamble in the thickest of the fray. Though they called us volunteers and the raw recruits, you could track us past and shell holes in the tracks were all one way of the good Australians and ammunition boots. The Highlanders were next to kin and the Irish were a treat. The Yankee knew it all and had to learn. The Frenchman kept it going, both the victory and defeat, fighting grimly till the tide was on the turn. And our army kept it beside them, did it bid or took its chance. They hailed our newborn nation and its fruits. As they listened to the clatter of the cobblestones of France, of the good Australian military boots. And that concludes our tale, Boots by Banjo Patterson.